A lot of people have an idea of the value of social media, Facebook, Instagram, those kinds of things, Twitter. If you're in your teens or in your 20s, it's your whole life, isn't it? But if you're in your 30s, 40s, eh, it's okay. But if you're older than that, you may say, yeah, who cares? Um, I didn't have it before and I don't need it right now. Well, we're going to talk about a couple of things today which may change your thought here. First of all, if you're watching this story, it's on Southern Ontario News, which is a web-based news program and it wasn't here two weeks ago. So this is filling in the gap here in the Golden Horseshoe area. Secondly, we are going to see something that's going to bridge the gap between 30 years of the old technology and the new technology. We're Tim Hortons here up by Lime Ridge, and I want to talk to Nicole first of all. So Nicole, uh, you had a friend of yours who was out uh, one day and found something. You want to tell us what it is and show us? A friend of mine found a 1978 High or Hill Park grad ring. Found it in the field in 1995. Then held on to it for I don't know how many years. When I graduated myself in 2007, he thought it might be something that I would like. Passed it off to me. I didn't know what to do with it at the time, so got tucked away in a jewelry box and never thought of it until Saturday, actually. I decided to pull it out, and there is a page on Facebook. It's called Only in Hamilton, and decided to post a picture of the ring. And 600 people? 600 plus people shared it, thank uh -huh. goodness, and it exploded and we were actually able to track down the owner. How neat is that? Let's go inside and we'll find out the next part of this. So again, this is something that's taken 30 years to develop. Nicole, let you hold the door if you yep. would. We go along in here right now. Come on out. How are you? I'm doing good. So we're going here to the next part of this story right here. Go over to the corner here. And what we're seeing is uh, a couple of people right here. Robin LaBelle was one of those people who saw this on Facebook and saw that ring. And what did you say? Right away, I said, those are my brother-in-law's initials. It was PJW for Paul John Williamson and Hill Park. And I knew that it wasn't 1928, that it was 1978, and that's the year that he graduated. Okay, so you got back to Nicole? I, yeah, at first I checked with my um, sister, and she said, I don't remember Paul having a ring. So it turns out he had lost it before they started dating. So then Paul got hold of me and said, yeah, I, th I think that's it. it's my ring. I did lose it. And so... Um, I called or I messaged Nicole, private messaged her on Facebook, and I said, "Yeah, it's my brother-in-law's ring." She's like, "How will I get it to him? How will we?" And so we started making arrangements, and then I called Paul, and he said, "Yeah, I can. I want to come and meet her too." So Paul, just tell us what were your thoughts when you first heard the ring has been found after 30 years? <laughs> well, it's kind of funny because first I was. Uh uh, just heard about it on Facebook and I'm not on Facebook and they said oh you're trending on Facebook and this ring and I said wow I said I forgot all about that ring it's like Robin said it was 1978 when I guess I bought it uh, I used it for quite a few years but I don't wear a lot of jewelry so I assumed it was up probably up in my drawer and I went and looked and sure enough it was gone and I thought wow I, I haven't seen that ring in years and years and even my email addresses are like pjw12 at mountaincable.com, the old one, that kind of stuff. <laughs> so I use pjw a lot. So then I thought, yeah, let's look at the picture on Facebook. Actually, my daughter had to email it to me. And I said, yeah, it looks exactly the same color. My initials, my year, so it must be mine. Okay, so you can give it back to him now, Nicole. What do you say about that? <laughs> it's awesome. I feel great to be able to give it back to you after all these years. Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, I really appreciate it. It's great that you think that you you to spend the time tracking me down, and I really appreciate it. Absolutely no trouble at all. Glad I could do it. Thanks. So what's the value of social networking? Well, in this case, it's bridged the gap from 30 years ago to now. Seemed to do something, and they say that time heals everything. Well, in this case, it certainly did. I'm Steve Ruddick for Southern Ontario News.